great outcomes um, that really we weren't really very aware of before we started this project is that because so many of our kids really do live and grow up in the urban environment, they don't have very much exposure to nature. Um, all, the whole agriculture zone as well as this secret garden has been planted by the students. And we had kids who actually had never seen an earthworm before. I mean, which is incredible to think about, but they just, it's for them a great experience to get their hands dirty. <laughs> a lot of their parents don't like them to get dirty. Um, so they get to get their hands in the dirt, they get to plant something, and then they have ownership of it. They watch it grow. I've heard some you know, kids say, you know, stay away from that plant. That, I planted that plant. Um, they really feel um, connected to the environment and to the schoolyard. And it's, it's magical. I know the, the fifth grade, for many years, um, the tradition is that they read the secret garden. Um, and that, going hand in hand with our schoolyard, is a terrific match because they actually can then see as they're reading it um, the plants growing and changing incredibly quickly in the spring and actually see the birds coming and eating the seeds, all the same things that are in that book, which is really quite timeless.